There's nothing sadder than watching a wing diver get shot down and eaten by spiders. After wiping the tear from your eye, we'll start the mission again on an easier difficulty. Gotta watch out for the spiders. I think I was playing that one on hard. I guess hard. I thought that was the uh, hardest level. Uh, I think normally you could get through that in hard. I don't know. I'm just going to go through this one fairly quickly here. It's a short mission. A pretty easy one. Not a whole lot to say except keep your distance from the spiders. Try to get rid of as many of them from a distance as possible with larger weapons. It's an open level here. Eruption. So you can use some of the more explosive, uh, your, your explosive weapons without worrying about blowing yourself up too much. There's, I think, two major waves of spiders here. It's not a great level to go in and try to uh, farm for weapons or whatever because the spiders are pains in the ass on the harder difficulties. They will swarm you, and unlike the ants, the spiders shoot webs at you. And the webs are really dangerous, especially when you got a whole lot of spiders. They'll, they'll pull you down from the air if you're flying around as a wing diver. In many respects, the infantry is better at taking out the spiders than the wing diver, since the infantry is more powerful, but I'm going to make this level look pretty easy here because I've got some big guns and normal is actually not that difficult. So, uh, there you go. I, See, I flew close to the spiders there, which wasn't a great idea, but, but again, I'm pretty strong for a normal mission. And just going to blow up a bunch of spiders and it's fun because it's Earth Defense Force. While you're doing this, I feel like it is important to every now and then just pause the game or in the, at the menu screens, stand up and shout EDF at the top of your lungs. EDF! Do you like death? Then die. While you're in these missions, you may want to occasionally in between waves blow up some cars or buildings. Just for fun. I mean, while you're saving the city, I feel like you should also destroy it because you know this is all going to be covered by insurance anyway. So it's like you're doing these people a favor. You're raising their old buildings, making way for new ones. Assuming that we survived the alien invasion in the first place. And this is early in the game. There's all kinds of crazy-ass enemies awaiting for us in the later levels. Ready to shoot. He's mine. Enemy approaches. Here we go. As wing Diver, I'll fly up to the top of the building and shoot down a couple other ones while I'm at it. You see on the map there, there's two more waves of, uh, or one more giant wave of spiders, but the spiders can't fly, so if you get up in the air, they're, that's a good way to destroy them. Now, occasionally, Earth Defense Force 4.1 on the PS4 does get a bit jerky. It may uh, lock up a little bit, but it's not too bad. I noticed it just did it there, and... It, this does play a thousand times smoother and better than Earth Defense Force 2025. So people frequently ask me, should, should I get EDF 2025? And honestly, I would skip that one and go either uh, 2017 or... Uh, well, this one's the best, Earth Defense Force 4.1. Even EDF 2 on the Vita plays pretty well. Uh, but 2025 definitely has uh, had some issues. Which is a shame, but... You know, you, you, you need the added horsepower, if possible, to play Earth Defense Force. Although, 2017 did run nicely, fairly fairly nicely on the uh, 360. Maybe I'll do some tactical videos of that game after I finish this one. But, there's a lot of missions, so I'm going to be busy blowing up bugs here for a while in 4.1. So, th there you have it. Th this, this level is short. It's fairly simple. Just keep your distance from the spiders. And it's not one that you'll probably find yourself replaying a lot because it's not a good level to farm. For that, you want to go to the beach missions, which I'll show you later. Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.